skewers are looking for an opportunity to steal eggs. As soon as they see something, they're in. The Falkland Islands are a desolate, windy place. But they're home to a wide variety of penguins. And no one loves penguins more than Mike Bingham. For nearly 10 years, he's been working to save the island's endangered penguins. And once a year, he conducts a detailed census of the birds. The counting is quite straightforward because what I'm actually counting is the number of birds that are actually sitting on nests. And we call that number of breeding pairs. They're quite comical to watch. Funny and felonious. They're quite prone to stealing rocks from neighboring nests in order to build up the foundation of their own. This kind of stealing's not really detrimental to the nests of the penguins in general. But there's another kind of stealing that's much worse. The kind done by a predatory bird called a skewer. The skewers are forever looking for an opportunity to steal eggs. As soon as they see something, they're in and they're, they're away with it before the penguin has a chance to cover it up. And the penguins can do nothing but more. Next, we're off to see a most unusual breed of penguin. They're all over this hillside. What's that? You can't see them all? Well, don't worry. Mike will explain. Well, you wouldn't think it, but we're right in the middle of quite a large penguin colony. These are Magellanic penguins and they all live underground. This looks a like, like, likely spot for an occupied burrow. There's guano outside the entrance and it looks well trampled. There's probably a penguin living in here, but to be quite sure, what I'm gonna do is attach a light to the top of this camera and feed it down on a pole so that I can say for sure whether there's actually a penguin living in there or not. Okay, let's see what we've got down here. Yeah, there's something. There we go. Yeah, huh? uh, there's two, two penguins in this burrow. You can actually see one of the eggs. There's lots of burrows here, so to make sure that I don't keep counting the same burrows twice, I'm going to mark it with a little spot of red paint. That's our first one. Um, but that's another confirmed occupied burrow. She's sitting quite comfortably, actually. She's not at all concerned by our light. This is only a small colony anyway, just a little over the 200 uh, breeding pairs here. Now onto the rock hoppers. That entire grey mass up there, that's not rock. Those are penguins all mixed together, close together. So we head up toward the colony just in time to see the rock hoppers demonstrate their unique style of rock climbing. And uh, the rock hoppers, they seem to like to come a long way up the beach. They look so comical hopping away, but it's actually a very effective means of getting up these slopes. You can see where they get the name rock hoppers from. And uh, they're nesting in an area, oh, three, four hundred feet above sea level. And they climb up here every day. Every day they go down to the sea, hop back up again, and don't seem to mind at all. <laughs> well, so far the work's been quite easy. But when I first saw this colony, I thought, how on earth am I going to count this? Because there are just so many penguins together, and it's just such a huge colony. I mean, just look how many penguins there are. There's no gaps between them. The penguins themselves are very tolerant, and as long as I'm not trampling over them to their actual nest, they'll, be, they'll, they'll try to peck my boots, and they'll, they'll, they'll shout at me, but they won't run away. They're great little penguins, these are. Small quarrelsome, noisy. <laughs> They're really attractive little birds as well, aren't they? With their, with their crazy haircuts and their yellow tufts and their red eyes. <laughs> their huge feet. <laughs> well, that's the last of them. All done. Been a busy time doing all these counts, but uh, in the end there's 4,800 rock hoppers. Just over 4,600 gentoos, a couple of thousand Magellanic penguins, and four pairs of king penguins. Well, I've been here in the Falklands for seven years now, and uh, I hope to be here for many more years to come. <laughs>